Two days ago, we had the launch of Claude Sonnet 4.5, which Anthropic claims to be the best coding model in the world. It's a major leap forward built for developing complex agents, interacting with computers, and delivering substantial gains in coding, reasoning, and mathematics. On benchmarks, it ranks impressively high, scoring an 82 percentage on the Sway Bench Verified Test, which is outperforming Claude 4 Opus on solving real-world coding problems. On other evaluations like Agentic Coding, Terminal Bench, and Reasoning Tasks, it sets state-of-the-art results, which is positioning itself as the perfect model for Agentic Coding. And alongside this, Anthropic also introduced Cloud Code 2.0, which is now powered by the Sonnet 4.5, and this upgrade brings a native VS Code extension, a refreshed terminal interface with searchable history and a checkpointing system that lets you rewind code states during long or complex sessions. Plus, with the new Claude Agent SDK, developers can now leverage sub-agents, hooks, and background tasks, which makes Claude code far more autonomous and customizable for building advanced agents. But now, let's explore all the new updates further in detail, starting with enabling Claude code to work more autonomously. This is where Anthropic has rolled out with several upgrades here. Most importantly, that Claude code can now operate with the Claude Sonnet 4.5 model within VS Code, which is absolutely amazing. It is something that can handle longer and more complex development tasks, whether you're working in the terminal or directly within VS Code. One of its biggest highlights is that it is something that is going to be able to directly be attached to the sidebar panel, and it is going to allow you to visualize inline diffs so that you can actually see where Claude is making the changes in real time. So for developers who prefer the comfort of IDs over the terminal, you can now use it with this VS Code extension. Tired of spending weeks or even months trying to turn your app into reality? Endless coding, debugging, and design headaches. It doesn't have to be this way. That's where I'd like to introduce today's video sponsor, Rocket.new. The revolutionary no-code platform that lets you build powerful web and mobile apps faster than you ever imagined. You just need to simply type what you want your app to do, upload a Figma design, or pick from hundreds of professionally designed templates, and Rocket.new will instantly bring your idea to life. Rocket's AI-powered engine writes clean, production-ready code for you. No more messy debugging, no more wasted hours, every feature, every button, Workflow comes to life seamlessly. Want to add payment processing, push notifications, social logins? Well, Rocket can integrate popular services like Stripe, Twilio, and more without touching a single line of code. And say if you're launching your MVP or an internal tool or a client dashboard in record time, you can test it, you can tweak it, and you can deploy it with a single click. Your apps are fully responsive with lightning fast and ready to use features. Rocket.new isn't just for developers, it's for founders, designers, product managers, and anyone with a vision. Turn your ideas into real apps without the tech headaches. So why wait weeks when you can launch today? Use the link in the description below so that you can access Rocket.new where your app is one prompt away. So if you're looking to get started with this VS Code extension, you can simply head over to their marketplace and then you can click install, which you can open up within Visual Studio Code. Once you have opened it up, make sure you install it and update it to the latest version. And once it has finished installing, you can open it up by clicking on this Anthropic logo. And this will open up the sidebar that I had mentioned. Just simply go ahead and log in with your Claude subscription or simply by just using the Anthropic console, which you pay with your own API. Next up is the enhanced terminal experience, which is my favorite feature. This is where Anthropic has given Cloud Code a new interface, which is super refreshed with new features and a smoother feel, which is more developer friendly. The new design includes improved status visibility so that you can actually see what Cloud is doing in real time. There's also a searchable prompt history where you can use the control plus R command. And this is where you can see a prompt history of previous generations as well. This means you can quickly re revisit, reuse, or even edit previous prompts without having to retype everything from scratch. And it's going to streamline the whole development workflow. And like I had mentioned at the start, there's also the new release of Claude Agent SDK, previously known as the Claude Code SDK. 
This is a toolkit that gives developers direct access to the same core tools like context management systems and permission frameworks that power Claude code itself. Now with this new update, the SDK now supports sub-agents and hooks, which makes it even more customizable for teams that want to design their own agentic workflow. These sub-agents can handle specialized tasks like spinning up a backend API while another agent builds the front end. And this is something that will let you autonomously trigger actions such as running tests or linting code before they actually commit it. Now, what's exciting is that you as a developer can already start building real world use cases with this SDK from financial compliance agents to cybersecurity monitors to advanced debugging tools. And it shows how versatile and powerful this new framework is. But there's so many other smaller changes that are a part of the change log like when it's paired with sub-agents, hooks, or background tasks. Claude code becomes even more autonomous. And there's other changes to the checkpointing system, which makes it automatically save your code state before each change, like we had mentioned, so that you can easily restore the code and the conversation or both using a single command. Now, I'll be showcasing these different features, like the rewind feature, as well as the sub-agents with the next step of the video. If you are looking to get started within the terminal, it's simple as just installing it using the npm command and having the prerequisite installed, which is node.js18 and above. And you can simply open up your terminal and then just simply paste in the npm install command. Once it has finished installing, you can open it up by using the cloud command, which will then uh, ask you to authenticate your actual account with cloud code. And you can see the new interface now. There's many new features like the rewind feature where you can go back to a previous checkpoint. You also have a couple other things that you can take a look at by using the help command, which showcases all the new commands. But essentially, you can see how easy it looks to work with. If you press control T, it will showcase the to-do list and it will also be able to showcase a brief of what is happening in the background. You can also use the control R feature and this is essentially where you can search previous prompts that you can use for future generations. But when you use the checkpoint feature, you can see that there is a couple of different commands that I've already used. And you can simply go back to that previous checkpoint by clicking enter, which will then have you restore the code and the conversation as well. But aside from that, you also have this extension within your IDE and it's super easy to work with. Just authenticate with your uh, cloud account whether you have the pro or max fine, or if you have your own API, and then you can send in any natural language prompt, like create me a browser based OS. And then you can send in the prompt and you can see that the autonomous AI agents is going to be able to tackle this task, similar to how you would with something like Klein, Kilo code, or even root code. And you can see right now it is creating a to-do list and it's going to work on spinning up this product that I had asked it to generate. What's cool is that you also have the ability to actually visualize all the diff edits right here, and then you can approve all the different generations as well. So this is a way for you to use cloud code directly within VS code. There we go. It looks like it has finished generating our browser based OS, which has a couple of different components and apps to our application, like a file system, terminal as well as a text editor and all these components actually work if you open it up you can actually visualize everything directly within our browser-based terminal which is awesome so this is something that is really agentic and performs really well with code if you like this video and would love to support the channel you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different ai tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily ai news and exclusive content plus a lot more but that's basically it guys for today's video on the new cloud code update it's truly remarkable and i definitely recommend that you try it out with the links in the description below especially with this new cloud sonnet 4.5 model Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already. Join the newsletter, join our private Discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.